Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In today's session, let us have a discussion on homogeneous coordinates and other transformation functions, reflection and shape. So, coming to the homogeneous coordinates. So, before going to know about these homogeneous coordinates, let's one, uh, let us uh, recollect uh, the previous concepts, that means uh, the formulas which we have derived for both the basic transformations. So we have seen the basic transformations are rotation, scaling and translation and we have already derived a formulas for uh, scaling, rotation and translation. So for the translation, we need uh, two translation parameters Tx and Ty so that these translation parameters should be added to the old coordinates for getting the new coordinates. And similarly, the rotation, coming to the rotation, it, we need some angle through which the object must be rotated. So the rotation may be uh, in a clockwise direction or a counterclockwise direction. So by default, the rotation will be in counterclockwise direction. And we have derived the formula for both the clockwise direction and anticlockwise direction. And here we need to multiply with the old coordinates, the formula uh, and multiply with the old coordinates to get the new coordinates. And similarly, the scaling, the scaling means changing the size of an object. So, depends upon the scaling factors here, uh, it requires uh, two scaling factors with respect to x-axis and with respect to y-axis that we represented as sx and sy. So, uh, so, it depends upon the scaling factors, that is scaling parameters, the size of an object may change. Automatically, the shape of an object may also change. So, let us see the formulas which we have derived in the previous session for the, these basic transformation functions. First, coming to this translation. Coming to the translation, uh, here if P dash is a new coordinates, point is equal to translation parameters T plus old, old parameters. So this is the format which we have derived in the translation transformation. So this can be written as so in a matrix format we are also derived uh, we have also represented in a matrix format so tx and ty translation parameters plus old parameters x and y old coordinates similarly for the rotation so for the rotation we have derived p dash is equal to r of theta into p so here we have just multiplied the old coordinate. So, this can be written as uh, cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta into x y. So, this is the formula which we have derived for counterclockwise direction. Similarly, scaling. Scaling also T dash is equal to S parameter into so this can be written as sx 0 0 xy into x y right so these are the formula which we have derived and these are the matrix representations which we have derived and so any transformation function can be represented by using a general format that is called uh, p dash is equal to let us write here. So, any transformation among these three transformations, any transformation can be written by using a general expression p dash is equal to m1 into p plus m2. So, this is a general expression to represent any transformation. So, here we are using the p dash is a new coordinates x1, p is a old coordinates x1. So, m1 and m2 are the matrix formats. So, M1 is a multiplicative matrix and M2 is an additive matrix. And M2 is an additive matrix. See, so here in, in the case of translation, so we are just adding the translation parameters to the old coordinates that means we are adding just m2 to the p so in this translation 
case m1 be the identity matrix so m is a multiplicative matrix so here only addition will be performed there is no uh, multiplication so m1 can be the identity matrix because any coordinates which are multiplied with the identity matrix will be the same so there will be no change in the coordinates so m1 will be the identity matrix and in the case of rotation and scaling so these are derived with respect to origin right so which we have derived the formulas are with respect to origin for both the scaling and rotation so in this case we are using multiplicative matrix so m from the origin itself so m2 will be the there will be no addition so only the multiplication will be type of computations that means here we are using two matrix and one additive matrix in order so these three trans so even though we need to do the computation so in order to avoid this we can represent any transformation function by using a matrix multiplication so matrix multi for this purpose we two three by three matrix now, multiplication we need to expand two by two matrix So before going to this called homogeneous coordinate. homogeneous coordinate so we will simply add this homogeneous coordinate to the old coordinate such that this two dimensional coordinate can be converted into three dimensional coordinate and it is represented as alphabet h h h stands for homogeneous coordinate now let us see so first x y can be converted into homogeneous coordinate by adding the third dummy coordinate homogeneous so the new points will be x h y h comma h so depends upon the homogeneous coordinate these x y values may also change so here h can be any non zero value any non zero value so depends upon h this x and y coordinates will also changes so from this x comma y x h is equal to x into h similarly y h is equal to y into h so we need to product this h with both the x and y coordinates so that we will get x h y h and h if we again want to convert this into two dimensional simply we can divide it with h x is equal to x h by h y is equal to y h by h so these are the formulas how to convert the two dimensional into homogeneous coordinates so for simple calculations to make the calculations easier this h can be considered as 1 so if h is equal to 1 the old coordinate will not change and the new coordinate will not change 
for example let us consider the example 2 comma 3 if we want to convert into homogeneous if h is equal to 2 if h is equal to 2 in this case so the new coordinates will be 2 into 2 comma 3 into 2 comma h that is 2 so the new coordinate will be 4 comma 6 comma 2 right again if we want to convert this 3 dimensional to 2 dimensional again divided by with homogeneous 4 by 2 comma 6 by 2 that means 2 comma 3 so first we are considering the 2 dimensional coordinate 2 comma 3 and if h is equal to 2 then the new coordinates homogeneous coordinates are 2 into 2 3 into 2 comma 2 that means x h y h and h so 4 6 and 2 so if again we need to convert this three dimensional coordinate into two dimensional coordinate just by dividing the homogeneous coordinates so 4 by 2 6 by 2 so that 2 comma 3 so here if h is a non zero value any non zero value if, if h is considered as 2 the new coordinates will change so obviously at the end of the uh, to, for, end of the calculation we again we must change the three dimensional coordinate into two dimensional coordinate so again it takes some more computations so for simple calculations this h can be considered as 1 so if h is considered as 1 so this coordinate will be 2 into 1 3 into 1 1 so th that means 2 comma 3 comma 1 so the old coordinate is 2, 2 comma 3 the new coordinate is 2 comma 3 comma 1 again if we want to convert it into two dimensional 2 by 1 3 by 1 so that is nothing but 2 comma 3 so the calculations will be simpler so h can be considered as a, you can consider h as a, any non-zero value but for simple calculations let us consider h as 1 so after calculating after converting this homogeneous coordinate uh, we need to derive the matrix representation that, that that means we need to expand the 2 by 2 matrix into 3 by 3 matrix so, so uh, remember careful um, if, even though we are converting the two dimensional plane into the three dimensional plane that is homogeneous coordinate the formula should not change for both the translation rotation and scaling so even though the matrix representation 2 by 2 is expanded to 3 by 3 the formula should not change let us see the matrix representation homogeneous matrix representations for these basic transformation functions so for translation For translation, we have derived x dash is equal to tx plus x, y dash is equal to ty plus y. For that, we have derived the formula tx ty plus x y. So this will be converted into homogeneous that is 3 by 3 matrix 1 0 tx 0 1 ty 0 0 1 plus t sorry x y 1 that means here we can write it as h homogeneous coordinate tx 1 0 tx 0 1 ty 0 0 h plus x y h so here h we are considering as 1 so just t plus x y 1 so that the formula will not change see 1 into x plus 0 into y plus tx into 1 so x plus tx similarly 0 into x 0 plus 1 into y y plus ty into 1 ty so y plus ty 0 into x 0, 0 into y 0, 1 into 1, 1. So homogeneous coordinate will be 1. So x dash y dash h is equal. This is the matrix representation 
for homogeneous matrix representation for translation function. So let us move on to the rotation function. Rotation function. So which we have derived is cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta into x y so that x dash y dash this we have derived in the two dimensional thing now let us con uh, convert this 2 by 2 into 3 by 3 such, such that the homogeneous matrix representation will be derived so in the homogeneous matrix representation x dash y dash h is equal to cos theta minus sin theta 0 sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 1 this is x y h so here also the h can be considered as 1 so we can replace this h with 1 so this is a formula so if you multiply these two matrices we will get the same result the formula will not change and this is a formula for counterclockwise direction so by default it's a counterclockwise direction so if we want to derive a formula for clockwise direction simply replace the signs so here it will be minus and here it will be sin theta so this is the same so remember by default it will be the counterclockwise direction so this is the homogeneous matrix for rotation now let us see for scaling also scaling so coming to the scaling we have derived x y is equal to s x 0 0 s y into x y so here x dash y dash so this can be converted into homogeneous matrix that is x dash y dash h so that the formula should not change so we need to remember that so sx 0 0 0 sy 0 0 0 h and here also x y h so here also the h will be 1 so this can be written as 1 x y 1 so this is the homogeneous matrix for scaling so hope you understood this homogeneous matrix what is the importance why we are converting this two dimensional plane into three dimensional plane hope uh, you understood Hope you understood the pre uh, to hope you understood this home what is the importance of homogeneous coordinates and the homogeneous matrix representation for all the basic transformation functions and uh, let us stop here and in the next session let us have a look on other transformation functions that is reflection and sharing and then we will move on to the composite transformations that means uh, sequence of transformation functions so for that purpose we need to know this the importance of homogeneous coordinates so one thing we should remember while writing the homogeneous matrix that is even though we are expanding the 2 by 2 matrix into 3 by 3 matrix the formula should not change for, for all the translation rotation and scaling and uh, if any object we uh, if the, if any object is uh, converted into homogeneous coordinates immediate, immediately after performing the transformations we uh, we must again reconvert them into the two dimensional plane so the process i have explained in this session hope you understood this well thank you